Bible, there was a man who fell among thieves and they beat him and left him. Here's the verse, half dead. And the Bible says, watch this, a priest passed him by. The reason why the priest passed him by is not because he was uppity. He passed him by because he was under covenant that I can't touch dead stuff. Because if I touch it, whatever they got will upset the assignment over my life. Can I tell you, when you are anointed, you got the right to be selective about who's in your life. You can't let everybody... Watch this. Helps me to understand better. This woman in the Gospel of Luke um, who uh, has an issue of blood. God help me in here. She's, she's got, watch this, internal bleeding. Something has ruptured on the inside and because it's man-made, watch this, the doctors didn't know how to handle her. God help me. So instead of getting better, she got worse. Hallelujah. But she went to a meeting one night. Hallelujah. And she heard about a man named Jesus. Hallelujah. She made up in her mind, if Obama thinks one man can control it, there's got to be one man that can heal it. Now she said, I'm carrying something that's out of order. And because it's out of order, I'm not supposed to touch people. Because I don't want them to get what I have. So if I touch the hem of his garment, whatever's going on with me is not going to happen to everybody else. Now here's the problem. She's moving through the crowd. But she doesn't tell people she's sick. So she's bumping in the folk, not knowing she's transferring the disease that she had. So when Jesus says virtue has come out of me, it wasn't just about her. It was about everybody that she bumped into. God told me to tell you, he's healing everybody that's been touched by somebody out of order. By somebody out of his will By somebody who ain't living right Would you grab your neighbor's hand And say neighbor You're safe Touching me I don't have a virus But I got the anointing And if you touch me The same The same power That's on me Is coming into your life I wish I had a real praying church would you grab your neighbor's hand and say neighbor you've had to deal with some crazy people you had to deal with some deceitful people you had to deal with some evil people but when I shout this last time whatever you've been touched with is coming out of you whatever you been afflicted with you about to be healed would you grab that neighbor's hand and say neighbor you got two weeks to get healed you got two weeks for your life to turn around when I shout this the last time I'm releasing an anointing over your life from the top of your head to the sole of your feet if there's anybody here that knows you'll be healed, shout, shout, shout. I gotta go. Take your neighbor by the hand. I gotta go. Take your neighbor by the hand.
Wherever his hands you're holding, tell him I'm anointed for life. I'm anointed. I, uh, I need somebody's hand in your hand, please. Hallelujah. I'm praying a hedge fence of protection. I can't find any worshipers. I'm praying a hedge fence of protection around every person who's got somebody's hand in your hand. Hallelujah. The time is almost gone, but you get ready to, to worship God not for anything material. Hallelujah. But you get ready to worship God so no virus is able to enter their body. I can't hear nobody then. Hallelujah. No disease, no sickness, no person with bad intentions will be able to get close to you. God is getting ready to cover you right where you are. I don't care how bad this virus gets. I'm believing by faith you are covered by the blood of the Lamb. I hope somebody's hand is in your hand. My heart bled, Madam Mayor, last week about a church in Montgomery, Alabama. This pastor has been diagnosed with HIV and AIDS. And many of the church members are now dying of it. God, y'all ain't talking back to me. Because he exposed them to it. I'm going to mess you up. Male and female. There's given to be a sound of worship in this room, not for anything material, not for anything tangible. But I need you to hear me that God is given to cover your neighbor from church hurt. God, oh God, I can't hear anybody from from all the wounds you have been afflicted with from people in church. Y'all ain't talking back to me. That they will not contaminate your spirit. That you don't become cynical about the things of God from people who lost their way. Hallelujah. You get me to be healed from your home church. You get me to be healed from issues you've had to bury and not address. And for just one moment, just 30 seconds, it ain't going to take me long. How much you right where you are with your neighbor's hand in your hand? Right where you are, would you open up your mouth and just begin to worship God? Watch this, not even for you, for the person whose hand you're holding. Hallelujah. Where are you? Where are you? Hallelujah. Y'all act like you ain't never been hurt before. You act like you ain't never been wounded before. You act like you ain't never been through something egregious before. But I'm praying that God is putting your heart back together. He's putting your mind back together. And those of you who know that God is a healer. I need you to loose that hand and give God your best glory. Like you know God is. I can't hear anybody. Watch this. This ought to be your best shout. This is only for people of faith. I want you to shout for the disease you never gonna have. You, 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 you ought to shout for the sickness you never gonna have. You ought to shout like you'll never have cancer. You'll never have a heart attack. You'll never die of HIV. You ought to shout for the disease you'll never have.
no leukemia no lupus no asthma I can't hear nobody no hypertension no high blood pressure you ought to shout for the disease you'll never have just because man made it doesn't mean God can heal it how many of you know there's a doctor above every doctor I'm going to open the doors of this church. I need every person who is physically able to stand. I want you to stand. Every person who's able to stand. I want you to brace yourselves. In the next 90 seconds, somebody's getting ready to walk past you. They're getting ready to meet me at this altar. They're getting ready to get saved. They're getting ready to find Jesus Christ. Because they don't even know what the enemy's been trying to contaminate them with. They don't know what the enemy has been trying to inject into their system. Wherever you are in this room, please hear me. You know that there's a plan for your life. I don't know where you are. I may be going back with somebody. The last two weeks almost killed you. Y'all ain't talking back to me. The last two weeks has been out of this world. Wherever you are, I'm begging you, I'm pleading you to come get inoculated. Hallelujah. You you got no idea what you're going to confront this week. You have no idea what you're going to have to deal with. Wherever you are, you're saying, Pastor, I've never heard a word like this. I've never been in a church like this. I've never received a message like this. I really believe this is where God would have me to be. I want to be your pastor, but more than that, I want Jesus to be your Lord. Hallelujah. You ain't got to like me. You just got to love him. Would you help me thank God for this super sister? Come on, they coming. Y'all really ain't going to shout over souls being saved. Here they come. Would you give God glory? Do you all see this harvest? I want you to shout like you believe God still heals. Wherever you are in this room, I'm thankful. For these sisters who have come, but I'm I'm of the conviction that God saves men too. I don't know where you are, brother, husband, friend, co-worker, wherever you are, I need you to come to Jesus while you still got time. I want to ask you a critical question. How would you respond if you knew this may be the last two weeks of my life? How would you respond, ladies and gentlemen, knowing you wouldn't even survive to mid-November? Wherever you are, you ought to know that you know that you know that no matter what happens, my soul is saved. Y'all not talking back to me? It does not matter what other people say, think, feel, or believe. I want my soul to be saved. How about that you would please help me? I've done all that I can do. I need you to now do your part. Would you look around you, find somebody who you don't know, find somebody you never met before? Would you ask them for me, please? Find out if they're saved. Find out if they've given their life over to Jesus Christ. Ask them if they were to die in the next two weeks so they're sure they will go to heaven. Wherever it is that you are, help me thank God for this beautiful brother that's coming. Come on, y'all ain't shouting good. Come on, would you clap for this young man at the altar? Bless his holy name. I need you, please. Would you talk to one more person? Here's who I want you to talk to. Watch this. I want you to talk to the person who looks like they don't want you to talk to them. Would you go to them very quickly? Look at this harvest. Here they come. Help me thank God for this young family coming even right now. I seen him do it. I seen him do it. Hallelujah, they're still coming in power, Clap your hands like you stopping an attack. I sing. Do it. Oh my. I sing. I sing it do it. Give God some praise. Here they come. I sing it do it. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I sing. Put your foot on the brake for just one moment. I'm believing by faith there's still one more person. I'm going into overtime, but your life is worth it to me. I'll stop the whole service just for you to get saved. I got people lined up outside, but that's the extent that God will go just to get your attention. 
uh, just to get your life. I, I know you in a rush, but your life is important. Your soul is swinging in the pendulum of your next decision. Wherever it is that you are, I need you to come. I'm begging you to come. I'm begging you to come, would you? Oh, uh, y'all ain't shouting good. Come on, come on. Y'all see this beautiful family? You ought to shout. Come on, give God some praise for this young lady. They're still coming, y'all. Come on, come on. The more you praise them, the more God will send them. The more you praise them, the more God will send them. Look at this young man. Y'all ain't going to shout about it. Stretch your right hand to faith. Stretch your right hand to faith. I feel like I need to ask for one more. That's just what I feel like some of y'all are getting antsy. But I, I don't know where you are. It's a runaway slave somewhere and I'm trying to get you free. Right where you are. Right where you are. Please. Please. Don't worry about all these people looking at you. You know how many people going to look in your casket? Uh, y'all, <laughs> I'd rather them see you in the sanctuary than see you in the mortuary. Here comes somebody else. Are uh, y'all going to shout, come on, lose your mind over souls being saved. Bless his name. Stretch your right hand to faith, please. Hallelujah. I'm trying to stop. Here comes somebody else. Come on, come on! Here comes somebody else. Would you shout for this young lady? All right, let's try it again. Stretch your right hand to faith. Stretch your right hand to faith. Thank you. All right, is that it? You sure? Come on now. Wherever you are, come on, please. These people got to go eat. I need you to come. Right where you are, please. Stretch that right hand to faith. Repeat after me. You're in the right place at the right time. Joining the right church. Serving the right God. Under the right pastor. And I know that's right. Show you right. If you know I'm right about it, come on, give big ups to the Savior. Would you shout right now? Come on, come on. I see. You may be seated. I see. I see them do it. I see. I see them do it. Bless the Lord. Would you celebrate our Savior for the word that went forth today? Come on, if you were blessed today, I need you to shout like you know God is in the blessing business. I need you right where you are. Um, what an incredible privilege, what a wonderful opportunity that has been entrusted to us uh, to let God know we thank him, here it is, for blocking diseases. Y'all didn't hear what I just said. I said, would you thank God that he blocked some stuff the enemy was trying to contaminate you with? Look at the person beside you, tell him he blocked it, he blocked it. You know how many traps were set for you? You know how many people had plans to ruin you? You know how many people thought that they were going to stop your assignment? And he wouldn't let none of these things be. I need you right where you are. How can I say thanks for all the things you've done for me? The voices of a million angels cannot express my gratitude. All that I am or ever hope to be, I owe it all to you. I want to give God an expression of my thanksgiving to know right now, here it is ladies and gentlemen, that you are not under quarantine. You didn't hear what I just said. That right now you're not living in a bubble in a hospital. That right now, here it is, you're breathing by yourself. That right now you don't have any internal bleeding. Some of y'all ought to be thankful and grateful that while we were yet sinners, he died for us. I want you right where you are. If you're in need of an envelope, I need you to lift up that happy hand. Pastor, why is my hand happy? It's happy because it can be lifted by itself. 
Y'all ain't talking back to me. You not in physical therapy twice a week. Nobody is helping you. Watch this stretch your limbs, but you're able to do so out of your own will and out of your own accord. Hallelujah.